and welcome to Cook with Mel. Today I want to present a keto pasta recipe that performs and behaves exactly like the carb loaded pasta we have enjoyed prior to keto. I'm sure you're like me, we've all tried many keto pasta recipes that end up in the bin or they end up melting into the sauce that we've prepared it with. Here are some of my failed attempts which are going into the bin. It's actually been really tough trying to find a keto pasta recipe that works. And I did this to support you on your keto journey. And I want to ask you in turn to please support me by subscribing to my channel, liking the video and hitting the notification bell because I'm still going to try this recipe out with coconut, flour and almond flour so I can save you some time and bring you more solutions to all our keto woes. I would strongly recommend if you love pasta and you plan on using this recipe over and over again to get yourself a pasta machine because the most time consuming thing I found was cutting up the pasta into a spaghetti or a fettuccine. Um, the spaghetti is way more time consuming. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get myself a pasta machine and get pasta making. So without further ado, let's get into the recipe and afterwards I'm going to do a taste test and also we are going to overheat this beautiful Tex-Mex spaghetti. I am going to do another separate video for the Tex-Mex sauce so you can get that as well and then you'll see exactly what happens so you know okay is this recipe worth trying. Let's get into that recipe now. You can do this by hand or using a mixing machine. Firstly to your bowl add 122 grams or two thirds of a cup of vital wheat gluten. Vital wheat gluten is made from extracting the gluten from wheat. It's not the actual wheat so it is keto friendly. But as it is gluten please note if you're gluten intolerant you will be allergic. Next add 122 grams or one half plus one third of a cup of lupin flour and remember guys I'm going to try it with other flours in case you can't get lupin. Next add 10 grams or two teaspoons of salt then one gram or a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. That's all the dry ingredients so whisk that to combine. Then we need one large egg at room temperature and beat that a little then add it. Next add 12 molts or one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and lastly three ounces or 88 ml of water at room temperature. Beat that until the dough is in big clumps like this. I also kneaded it a bit to minimize cracks and then made a ball. Cut the dough into four servings and shape one portion into a disc so it's easier to get the desired shape. Between two sheets of parchment paper, roll out the dough. This dough is more firm, so I found I did need a bit of elbow grease to get it as thin as possible. Now you can see if you have a pasta machine, this process will go much quicker for you. Okay, this is how thin I managed to get it. Trim off the edges so you can get long pasta. First I made spaghetti and please do note that thinner strips will take you much longer. Just make sure you separate out each piece as you go along to make sure none of them are sticking together. Then I made a fettuccine and cutting them literally took me 10 minutes. When I make this again I am so going to try making ravioli too. Also this dough has a firm structure so you won't need to coat your hands or the dough in anything. Once all the pasta has been cut, lay it out on a sheet of baking paper. Okay, the next step is absolutely vital and will determine whether your keto pasta is successful or not. The pasta has got to dry out. So lay it out on your bench shop overnight and that will do the trick. This recipe was adapted from idonsugarcoat.com and they use a dehydrator to dry out the pasta. 
I wanted to share this recipe so everyone can make this and not have to spend a lot of money on machines that we may not necessarily have. I actually had some regular pasta that I use for the family so I just want to compare them to the keto pasta. Look at that. The fettuccine is virtually the same and here are some egg noodles. Don't know about you but I'm finding it very difficult to tell the difference. Now let's look at how to cook this keto pasta. I just boiled some water, added two pinches of salt for one serving. Then I added the pasta and stirred it a little just to make sure nothing was sticking as I didn't add any oil to help it along. The cooking time was total five minutes, then strained it and added it to an oven proof dish. Then I added my cheese, some garnishings and baked it in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes just until the cheese has browned to how you like it and here it is just out the oven right we've got the pasta in the microwave and the beep is just about to go so we'll grab that and maybe I should grab a towel or something there you go I'll get that And this is dinner for one. This is not a double portion. This is plenty of food. It's burning a little bit. <laughs> so now to taste this and you can see it's still very movable. Just, just like, look, just like regular pasta. It has not melted at all guys. So now let's um, grab some pasta, grab some sauce. I should be swirling it around <laughs> as you do with spaghetti. Mm. Oh my God. That is absolutely beautiful and I don't feel like I'm eating keto pasta guys so I am so happy that this is a solution for me I'm just going to make keto pasta using this recipe every single time get myself a pasta machine and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it very informative and get making keto pasta. Guys, please do drop a comment and let me know what you think of the pasta once you get to make it. Or even if you love this video, I am gonna save my fettuccine for a carbonara because I just, I just love carbonara. And I will post um, the recipe to my uh, carbonara for that as well. Thanks for watching, stay safe and be well.